one of the big motivations for installing a big pressure tank is if you don't want a pump to be cycling on, off, on, off, on, off the whole time. And the other one is to get a smoother delivery of water pressure in the house. So to demonstrate this, if you only open something a little bit, like at the moment we're sitting here at 3.6 bar, and I'm just going to close the pressure tank off. If we open a little bit of water, the pressure drops. And then it dropped down to about two bar before the pump kicked on. So, for, so what you're getting is if, let's say, you have something that's constantly just drawing a little bit of water, the pump will switch on for any water you draw. Now, if you have a pressurized buffer tank, what it in effect does is it delays the amount of time until the pressure drops down low enough for the unit to kick, for the pressure switch to kick on. So like now, see there we're running at a much higher flow rate than we were, and we're just running off the water in the tank. And like now this, we, we have one shower completely open without the um, pump having to actually switch on. And one of the nice things with this is of course, the, the pressure is in the line the whole time. You don't get that typical dip of pressure when you open the tap and then it picks up again. It, you just get a constant um, flow rate. And as you can see here, it's slowly dropping the pressure down. And we, we're currently drawing about 10 liters per minute. So let's see how long we can actually run a shower without the pump actually even having to, to turn on. It actually looks like it's doing quite well here. One a bit. Let's see if we add a second shower. Okay, then we're getting more of a pressure drop, so we're going to be turning on quicker. But there's two showers running at full speed, and we still haven't got our pump switching back on. But we are now dropping down to about 2.2 .2 bar. Um, in the line, but a big part of that is um, because of the higher flow rate we're running, because we are actually running here at about 17 liters per minute with the two showers running. There we've now dropped down to about two bar pressure and the pump is still off, it still hasn't switched, switched back on again. Now we're down to about 1.8 bar, but still getting a very nice flow through our two showers here. Down to about 1.6 bar, and the pump actually still hasn't switched back on again to top up the tank. And the idea with this is it um, should just save the lifespan of the pump quite a bit, because you're basically only running for longer continuous periods instead of switching on and off the whole time. There we're at about 1.4 bar. Interesting to see where this one actually turns on. Okay, and there it kicked on at about um, 1.3 bar finally. And then if I close the pressure tank, you can, it's basically very quick to to just turn off. And so we, we know now that this pressure switch, the water pressure actually needs to drop down to 1.3 bar in the pipe system for it to turn on. But if you open a shower, you're basically almost immediately, your whole system's pressure drops. So that's the big advantage of having a pressurized buffer tank is you, in effect, just massively increases the, the pressure reservoir you have in your pipe system. Okay.